We're here in Woodhouse Moor in Leeds, where the first British Reclaim the Night marches started 39 years ago. And Al Garthwaite was one of the women who organised the marches. Tell me how it started. The origins of the Reclaim the Night marches were in Germany. Young men used to go out on Walpurgisnacht and har in groups and harass young women. And one year, 1977, the women said, we're not putting up with this, and went out the next night to reclaim the night. This was reported in Spare Rib magazine. And in our revolutionary feminist group in Leeds, we discussed it. We were aware that there was a serial killer around, Peter Sutcliffe, the so-called Yorkshire Ripper, who by then had killed several women. And we thought, let's have a reclaim the night march ourselves in Leeds. And show that we're not putting up with this any longer and that we will not be made to feel that we shouldn't go out at night that we couldn't go about and do what we wanted to do then we thought why not ask other women's liberation groups across the country whether they would come out on the same night and hold reclaim the night marches i mean at the, at the time were, were a lot of women feeling that actually they couldn't go out at night that they didn't feel safe that they felt uneasy I think from about that time, women were beginning to get worried, pretty worried and uneasy, yes. Because although the first few women that Peter Sutcliffe killed were women who were working in prostitution, and at that time, women who were working in prostitution were not treated well in the media and were seen as like some other form of, of woman altogether. The killing of Jane MacDonald, who was only 16, whose body was found on the Chapeltown Adventure playground, caused was very widely reported and women were beginning to think this is really worrying and increasingly there was a climate of fear among women in Leeds and in the whole of Yorkshire really. Were the police saying then that women should stay at home, should not go out on the streets at night? The police's reaction to the increasing publicity about Peter Sutcliffe the Yorkshire Ripper and the killing of women was to say women shouldn't go out alone at night. So women supposedly were meant to stay at home unless they were with a man and couldn't go to evening classes, couldn't go to work, couldn't go out socialising. Well, this was totally unacceptable. Even the Vice Chancellor at Leeds University was saying that. And there was strong opposition to that. And that was one of the impetuses for going out and wanting to reclaim the night even more strongly. Do you feel that the clock's being turned back at all when you think about what happens now with I don't know, teenage relationships, the growing violence or online abuse and harassment and misogyny? Definitely. I think it's appalling. Uh, from what I'm told, the sort of abuse that young women now get in the city centre going out at night and in the clubs particularly is horrific and worse than I experienced in terms of street harassment when I was young. It really does sound bad, and I think that's dreadful, and I think it is encouraged and fueled and then reinforced by the appalling misogyny and woman-hating and violent threats that are there to view online any day of the week. And any woman who dares to come out and say, I'm a feminist, or ask for, really demand the simplest thing, like a woman's face to be on a banknote, gets yeah. the most appalling, appalling abuse. I mean, it feels to me as though the internet is like the new streets now. If you think that you know, social media is where we meet, where we chat, where we work, all the things that we've always done in parks or on the streets or in pubs and clubs is now online as well. So actually the harassment that you get online has a huge impact on the way we live our lives today and that means it can have a big impact on women as well. I think this is really true. High profile women, some of them Stella Creasy, um, they've uh, come out, they've talked about it, and they've had a lot of publicity and a lot of sympathy as well as further abuse. But other women have also experienced it, less high profile, they've suffered almost in silence, they've gone off social media. In some cases, women have left their jobs, they've left the town that they were living in because it had become known. It's not acceptable in any way. So re and reclaim the night today means reclaim the internet too? Reclaim the internet, yes. Reclaim the virtual space as well as your actual space.